Hello, welcome to my channel. For today's lesson, I will be teaching you the song I'll Always Love You by Michael Johnson. So in this song, we'll be using the capo. We will be putting the capo on the first fret here, then standard tuning. Okay, so this is the intro. As you can see, the intro is repeated twice. So the first chord that we'll be using is G. So your middle finger should be placed in the third fret, sixth string, and then your ring finger on the second string, third fret, like this one. Then you have to clap string number six, four, three, and two. Anyway, the number that I will be mentioning will be the number of strings, no? Okay, this is number 6, string 5, the 4th string, 3rd, 2nd, and the 1st or the last string. Okay, again G chord, so you'll be plucking 6, 4, 3, 2. Six, four, three, two. X. The second chord that we'll be using is the B flat six. So this is the B flat six, but you have to remove your pinky here. Then your index finger should be placed here on the fifth string, first fret. Then your ring finger should be placed on the fourth string, third fret. Then you have to pluck five, four, three, one. Again, 5, 4, 3, 1, 5, 4, 3, 1. Okay, from the top, G, 6, 4, 3, 2, then B flat 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, G. Next, C. So you have to pluck 5, 4, 3, 2 using C major. Then after that, you have to remove this part here, your ring finger, you have to remove this, and your index finger here. Then you again you have to pluck 5, 4, 3, 2. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, from the, from the top. Go okay, one more. Make it slow. 5, 4, 3, 1. Then, 5, 4, 3, 2. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, let's try the usual tempo. One more. Okay, that is the intro. Now let's move on to the verse. This is the verse. So the chords that we'll be using in the verse is G, the same with intro, B flat 6, then C, then prolong C, okay. So you have to hammer on the second string from the first fret. But you have to simultaneously pluck string number two and three. Again, from the top, G, B flat six, C, 
then again see you have to pluck five four then simultaneously number string number two and one hammer on from the first fret one more Okay, next A minor 7, D7, G. After D7, then you have to pluck G chord. You pluck number 6, 4, then hammer on string number 3 to 2nd fret. Then, after hammering on string number 3, Hammer on against string number two. Then open string. Hammer on and open. So this will be the riff. Okay. Again, let's repeat from the top. D plus six C C A minor seven D seven G. Then C major 7. So when you strum C major 7, you have to pause for a while. D7. D7 plug number 4, 3, 2, 1. Then G major 7. You have to plug 6 in third string then simultaneously pluck number six and or one two three string again again one two pluck again number six then g6 position of your G major 7 will be like this so in the third fret sixth string then second string third fret and then your index finger should be on the second fret first string then you have to pluck number six three simultaneously one two three and six then six again one more then G6 G6 would be this one on the third fret sixth string and the second string first fret you can make like this one or, or this one it's up to you again one more one more Then pluck number six, open fourth string. Then hammer on again third string, hammer on second string, open, hammer on then open. Okay, one more. Okay, so that is for the verse again. Let's repeat from the top verse G. C major 7 Seems I really miss D7 G major 7 Okay, now for the refrain So we'll be using D sharp major 7. So you have to bar your finger on the first fret. So from the fourth string down. Then you have to bar again um, third fret here on the third string down. Then you have to pluck 4, 3, 2, 1. 
then B flat 6 flat 5 4 3 2 1 or 2 or 3 1 then A minor 7 D7 then G then there is a riff here okay for the refrain from the top D major D sharp major 7 B flat 6 A minor 7 D7 G so the riff for the G is what you have to pluck 6 then 4th 6th 4th then simultaneously 1 and 2 hammer on the second string on the first fret then open okay from the top B plus 6 A minor 7 D7 G C major 7 then D minor 11 so the position of D minor 11 is 2nd fret 5th string then 3rd string 2nd fret and then 2nd string 3rd fret then you have to plot 5 4 3 2 then after this the chord is E minor E minor but instead you have to open 6 then slide from 2nd fret 4th string to 4th fret 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 then A minor 7 then A minor over G there is a bass on the 3rd fret then open bass then D ok so from the top D sharp major 7 Six, A minor, seven, D seven, G, C major seven, D minor eleven, E minor, slide then A minor seven, A minor with G, open, D, okay, one more. Okay, that is for train. Now let's move on to the chord. The plucking will be like this G. part of the out of tune there okay so the chords for the chorus is G E minor with a slide open 6 then 4th string 2nd fret slide to 4th fret again G A minor 7 D you have to prolong A minor 7 so the plucking would be four, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, then again 5, 4, 3, 2, it's up to you. Okay, G, A minor 7, D, G6, G, G6, then bass G, D over F sharp, so D chord, then you have to put your thumb here on the second fret of the Six string. Okay, again, repeat G, E minor, A minor seven, 
D Inside G6 Out of line D over F sharp E minor with a slide 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 6 4th string slide Then 3rd string D Bass F Then G E minor Okay I got it G E minor 7 Prolong D G6 G D Over F sharp E minor D Then you have to put the bass then move on to G E minor with a slide A minor 7 D Then D sharp diminished chord So the position of your finger is on the 1st fret 4th string Then 2nd string 1st fret Then 3rd string 2nd fret And then 1st string second fret then you have to place your pinky here on the third fret then move again to second fret okay this is the D sharp diminish then open E minor this time your E minor you will be using like this one your pinky should be on the third fret first string Okay. Then D abrupt with C. Okay, moving on uh, from the top G, D minor, A minor seven, prolong D, G six, G, E minor, D, bass. E minor, A minor 7, D, D sharp diminished, E minor, D, okay, um, so you will be using the chord E minor, D, C, then you have to simultaneously pluck 5th string and 1st, 2nd, 3rd, again, So E minor, D, C, A minor 7, G, D over F sharp. Okay. Then, um, repeat to intro for the ad Okay. Um, from the top again, chorus. Seven G D over F sharp. Love you. Repeat to intro. Then after this, um, second verse. On to the bridge section. The bridge D sharp major seven. The chords would be easy D sharp major 7 G add 9 The chords will be on the 6th string 3rd fret And then on the 1st string A minor 7 D E minor B minor 7 
A minor 7 D7 sustain Then uh, again repeat two chords D G6 G D F sharp over chart E minor D G E minor A minor 7 D D sharp diminished A minor 7 G D over sharp Okay for the outro uh, G B flat 6 C A minor 7 G then G add 9 so that's it so I hope you learned from this song uh, a very nice song I always love you by Michael Johnson so please stay tuned for more guitar tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my channel and kindly click the bell notification for you to be updated on my latest uploads regarding the guitar tutorial thank you